Hey guys, Claude Johnson here with GuitarControl.com and I want to talk about some real basic beginner blues stuff. The 12 bar blues form. So the form is the context on kind of the big picture of how things fit together. So this is really important to know. Um, you know, now don't confuse the form with what you're playing inside the form, okay? So I want to help you understand this. So, you know, if you're playing, let's say the form says that you should play like the A, you know, A chord if you're playing an A. It could be, you know, something like this. Where I'm just, you know, I have a bar chord and I'm plucking it in triplets. Or it could be you know, something like a shuffle riff. be another kind of riff, whatever, but I'm still in A. Then if the form says that I go to my D chord, now I'm playing in the key of D. It doesn't matter what I'm playing as long as I'm on the right chord. So this will become more clear as we go on. Now, there's all kinds of forms, 8 bar, 16 bar, but the 12 bar is the most common form and that's what you need to start learning with, okay? So, um, the most common chords in blues are what's called the 1, the 4, and the 5. They're written as Roman numerals. And what that means is, for example, if you're in the key of A, you're going to be playing A, D, and E. Okay, so A is the 1, D is the 4, E is the 5. We'll get into that later on where that comes from. It's basically music theory and coming from the major scale where if you're playing so you have one, two, three, four, and there's your D, five is your E, okay? One, four, five. So if you've been studying my basic beginner videos um, where I give you the seven basic chords, you already know your A, D, and E. So you can use those in the beginning. Okay, now I'm going to spice it up by playing dominant chords, so that's A7, D7, E7. So here's the form. It's 12 bars, and think of it as, visualize it written down on a piece of paper as three rows of four chords each. So the first row is going to be one, your one chord, four bars of one. So you have... I happen to be playing like a double triple here. One, two, three, one, two, three on each bar. Let's just stick with that, okay? So one, two, three, one, two, three. That's one bar. We said four bars of the one chord. Then in the next line, we're gonna have two bars of the four chord. And two more bars of the one chord. Then we have on the third line, five four, one, five. So remember, five is your E. So if you're using the basic chords, you play, for that last part, you play this. All right? So there you have it. So the whole thing all together, Sorry, I did a little something more advanced. Let me back that up. Here we go. And that sounds very basic, um, but that's how you get started with it. One thing that's really cool with that that you can do is just put the one and the two together. So you have like, and you can combine it like. Okay, 
and now it starts to sound like blues. So, um, yeah, hope that was a good lesson for you. Check out my blues course. If you want to get the full meal deal, I'll teach you a lot more great stuff about blues structures and give you way over 200 examples, actually 245 examples with tabs. It'll be a great way for you to uh, learn a lot of stuff fast. Just go to guitarcontrol.com slash blues. Alrighty, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.